All right, Coach, great game. What are your thoughts on tonight and how the team did? Uh, you know, anytime we get a win, it's great. You know, the guys came out. I thought they played with a lot of energy. Uh, we, actually, we executed extremely well on the offensive side of the ball defensively. Uh, we got them off the field when we needed to in third down type situations. So overall, I was, I was really pleased with both offense and defensive play. <laughs> I got to ask my Carl get a touchdown in the first half. Right. Is that something you guys hadn't played before? Well, I know, where, where, how did that come about? Well, you know, Carl's been asking us to put a, a fullback type package in. We usually don't play with a fullback. And, you know, he's a senior and he's done a great job for us. You know, a lot of awards, a lot of accolades. And anytime you get a chance to give an offensive line on a touchdown, I think it's a big honor. Is that something you guys were saying for the home opener or just timing was just right, position, field position was just right? A little bit of both. Uh, we, we knew when we got a chance to be at home in front of the home crowd. We knew when we got a chance to get in that field position that we wanted to try to get, get caught on the ball to try to give him a touchdown. Uh, Darrell finally got going. It's the breakout game. You've been waiting to see him uh, this season so far. Right, I think it is. Uh, you know, we were really focused on trying to get him some touches, get him some carries uh, that were productive this upcoming coming game as we're going to be at play. So I was happy to see him have some success. I was happy to see him kind of get oiled up as we go into the conference play. You say oiled up. Has, has he been kind of revving up at this moment, the first two games? Tonight? Well, you know, it's kind of tough. Sometimes when you play the, the level of competition that we play in, those running lanes are not quite as there. Sometimes those tackles to get broke don't get broke as easy. And I thought tonight, you know, you kind of got a glimpse of what he's going to do going forward. Yeah, I think Malcolm three touchdown passes, performance. Uh, I think Malcolm really grown as a passer. I think you know what you saw is some of those passes were spot on, and that's what we've been working about working with Malcolm for the last couple of years. And I think he's really grown into his own as a passer. Uh, even in the first couple of games against Western Michigan and against Duke, what you saw was he was really on point. Uh, we had a few drops against the Duke game. We completed some nice balls against Western Michigan, and he just continued tonight. On that opening drive, did you feel like, okay, this is the offense, this, this is us, this is who we are? You got to kind of move on the field school. I think so. You know, we've always talked about starting fast as an offense and to, you know, move the ball down the field and get a touchdown in the first position. I think that helped us a ton to generate momentum. Um, defensively, you guys held the one touchdown, pretty good pass that far. Other than that, solid effort on that side of the ball. I think so. I think we held them to about 250 yards or so. I thought overall the performance was really solid for the defense. Uh, we got to clean up some things. You know, we're facing a very similar quarterback next week. So, you know, we enjoy this win and we'll go back to the drawing board and see how to contain the quarterback next week. Penalties probably kind of under your skin a little bit more. A little bit. We had about seven of them tonight. I would like that number to be uh, significantly less. So, those are some of the things that we have to address going forward uh, as far as penalties. And there was a lot of yards in the first as well. It's a pretty good balance, like you like passing and running kind of. I think so. You know, I think we saw Naya Ramadan get involved and he showed got some game time, got some, got some playing experience, ran the ball extremely well too when he got an opportunity. So I think you know, you see kind of you know, a back up coming along you know, with uh considering calls alignment, were you okay with the building? I think we got to celebrate. Never okay with the building. But uh, you know, we're gonna give him a mulligan on that. Uh, talk, talk about your defense. Y'all gave up a lot of points the first group, a couple of games. What did y'all work on preparing for this game? Uh, you know, I just think that they got more focused. I mean, we talked to the defense about being more focused, about being locked in. Uh, really hate that we gave up that touchdown, but that was a great move by, by the receiver on our cornerback. So, you know, kudos to the St. Hall for that. But uh, overall, defensively, I thought we played a good game. We stopped them on third down. Uh, some big plays, a lot of uh, tackles for loss, which is really good. So how do you plan on building on that going to the conference game? I think, you know, we got to build on any kind of thing that we can find with confidence. You know, and we gained a lot of confidence t tonight. I think you saw a glimpse of, of what I think we can do. Uh, offensively, we were very productive defensively. Those guys honed in and, st and stopped the offense when they needed to. So talk about your quarterback. He had a big game today. So what y'all been doing to like preparing for this game and how you plan on using them for going forward? I think offensively we've just been really stressing on more focus and more touch on the ball. You know, Matt was really grown as far as putting the ball where it needs to be. Our receivers are, are, are catching the ball extremely well. You saw some tough catches over the middle that they made tonight. And, uh, you know, overall the passing game was really grown. I think we threw for close to over 400 yards tonight. And I was really excited about that as far as you can see it all slowly coming together. So you got a chance to play some of your backup players. So what did you see from them going forward, like to going to next year and stuff like that? Well, not just next year, this really? year as well. You know, we, we got some guys that play some key backup roles that's going to be able to help us. It's a long season. We got eight more games left, and, you know, we, we want to make sure that we got everybody oiled up and ready to go each and every week. Okay. Congratulations on your victory. <laughs> Thank you.